All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Pushing this Bible, believing in the words of the Bible, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. Keep pushing. Regards for people here for a bit. You know, and the, one of the brothers in the camp, you know what I'm saying, um, put us on to this article about this North Carolina man from Raleigh, the city that we live in. You know, after Hurricane Florence came, you know what I'm saying, which was a major hurricane down here in the Carolinas. Our people weren't thinking about repenting to the God of the Bible. You know, the God of the Bible got storms, floods, earthquakes, you know, different calamities going on throughout the four corners of the earth. But the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American is two-thirds. They just don't get it, man. They want to continue in their madness. They want to continue in their wickedness. But it's a penalty for that, man. It's a penalty for going against the God of the Bible. It's a penalty, man. Do y'all not get that yet, man? Continue to listen to those false prophets and those false pastors in those church houses, man. A.K.A. holler houses. You want to, you can end up just like this guy. We're going to hop right into it, man. This is a news article. Um, look, November the 2nd, man. Okay? November the 2nd. Today is the 4th. This happened on the 2nd, right? So we're going to read. North Carolina man touched raw shrimp after Hurricane Florence. And it left him fighting for his life. All he did is touch the shrimp. All he did is touch the shrimp. The shrimp. And what the scriptures tell us? Touch not an unclean thing, right? So he ain't even, the God of the Bible didn't even give him a chance to eat the shrimp, man. All he did is touch it, man. Let's get this right quick before I even read the article. Let's get this. Because you Nick Rose, you either going to learn or burn. You're either going to learn or burn. One or the other. Let's get this. Hebrews chapter 10. Repent. Repent ye therefore for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. See, one thing about the God of the Bible, he got the angels watching all of us, man. And you're not getting away with anything, man. So it says right here, a North Carolina man touched the raw shrimp after Hurricane Florence. It left him fighting for his life, man. That's why we always tell our people through the spirit of your house, but Shemel Shai, turn, turn back from your wickedness, man. Stop celebrating the customs of the heathens, but you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you still don't get it. You think the Bible is a fairy tale book. You think that the laws of the Bible are done away with because your pastor in church keep telling you. But then you got the men of the Lord reading out the Bible that the laws are not done away with. But you listen to the guy that's feeding you lies. And this is, this is the consequence of it. So let's read this article. A North Carolina couple didn't have to eat the fresh caught shrimp. They bought a few weeks after Hurricane Florence to find out something was wrong with them. So the guy, you know how Jake says, they big on shrimp, crab, lobsters, um, catfish. They big on eating these abominable foods, man. When the scriptures tell us what, let's get this right quick. Bring out some scriptures most definitely in this lesson right here. Through the spirit of your heart by Shemiah This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. I start at 1. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen, eating shrimp, crab, lobsters, pig, swine, catfish, and squid, octopus, and all that other nonsense, oysters, all those are ways of the heathen, man. And who are the heathens? The so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, Arab, doo eating -doo African, you know, the Hawaiians. All those are um, heathen nations, man. And the scriptures tell us what? 
Learn not the way of the heathen. Celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, your birthday, your mama's birthday. All these different customs, man. That the heathens do. The scriptures tell us, learn not the ways of the heathen. Drinking blood. Sacrificing our kids, all those are heathenistic customs, man. And the scriptures tell us, learn not the way of the heathen, right? It says, and, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So you're not supposed to worship the sun, moon, and the stars, man, okay? You worship the entity that created all that, right? So it says, um, after the husband touched the shrimp, look, after he touched the shrimp, the scriptures tell us, touch not an unclean thing. Look, after he touched the shrimp, he became infected by a bacterial, a bacteria that left him fighting for his life. So only thing he had to do was touch the shrimp, man. Okay? And now he's somewhere fighting for his life, man. He's right now fighting for his life, man. This happened on the second. Today is the fourth, man. You know? You know him and his wife had plans for the weekend. You know, they was gonna commit some wicked acts, do abominable acts like they like they was doing already. You know, it says long time and now retired Wake County. Edu look, look, he's supposed to be a Wake County educators. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be educating people, but he ain't teaching our people nothing, man. What is he educating our people on? Not the Bible? Because if he would have been educating our people on the Bible, he wouldn't have touched those shrimp. He would have known that those were, was abominations, man. Okay? Long time and now retired Wake County educators. Eddie and look, him and his wife and Patty Clinton, look, purchased 20 pounds of shrimp. They ain't just get one pound or two pounds of wickedness. They purchased 20 pounds, man. 20 pounds, man, of shrimp, man. Can you believe that, man? 20 pounds of shrimp. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Um, superfluity, right? Look, from a friend, of a friend. Some somebody know somebody that know somebody that'll get you caught up every time. It says um twenty pounds of shrimp from a friend of a friend who harvest them near the r New River on October the fifth. Patty Clinton told the News and Observer, which is um a local newspaper here in Raleigh. Look, all Eddie, 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 all Eddie did, and, and yeah, we make a mockery of that man. The God of the Bible said, I'm going to make mockery when your fear come, man. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. We're going bring, to be bringing out a whole lot of scriptures on this one right here. So bear with me. We're going to read the rest of the news article. But I want to bring out some scriptures, man. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 1. Verse um, 23. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. The, see, and, th and th the thing about it, this guy's from Raleigh, and we've been out there on the highways and byways for years here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I'm pretty sure, and everybody come downtown, man. Everybody come downtown. Been out there for years. This man has seen us out there on the highways and byways. He's, he's an educator, right? Him and his wife, right? Well, we out there educating our people on the words of the Bible, man, but they didn't take heed to their education. And the education that they're teaching our people is the wisdom of this world, which is foolishness to the most high. The scriptures tell you the wisdom of this world is foolishness. So the only thing they was teaching our people is going to college, getting a better life. They weren't teaching them about keeping their laws, the and commandments of the Bible. So henceforth, this man is someone fighting for his life right about now, right? Once again, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. The God of the Bible is trying to correct our people, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans with this word. But they refuse to hawk him, man. They refuse correction, right? Behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Look, because I have called, and how does the Most High call with his men being out there on the highways and byways? That's how the God of the Bible calls you, man. Telling you to repent through his servants, right? And ye refuse. This is what happens when you refuse the words that you have by Shemiah Rashad. You refuse correction. You end up in a hospital fighting for your life, right? I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded it. But ye have set at not all my counsel. The counsel is the words of the Bible and the man is teaching it. It says, um, and with none of my reproof. Jake don't want, Jake would not take correction, man. Correction is grievous in them that has forsaken the way, man. 
And the ones of our people that hate correction, you shall die. As the scripture have said, man. You know? It says, um, I will also laugh, because I laughed at him, right? When I when I said, Eddie, I made mockery at him through the spirit of your house, but Shemel was shot. What did, the, what did the Most High say, though? Verse 26, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So now this, now this man in great fear now, man. He don't know what's going on with him. His wife don't know what's going on with him. He in a coma right about now. But we're going to read on. What did, what did his wife say? What did Patty say? All Eddie did was open the bags up. Take them out and put them in smaller bags. So he, he was, he was um, stacking up for the winter. You know what I'm saying? He had 20 pounds of shrimp too. Eddie was stacking up for the winter. He was, he was separating the shrimp. You know, he took some out. He was going to cook some for him and his wife. But then the rest, you know what I'm saying, he took them and was putting them in smaller bags. Because he had 20 pounds. That's a lot of shrimp, man. We should have just left them in the water, man. Look, took them out. Look, all Eddie did, this is all Eddie did. All Eddie did was open up the bags. Open the bags up. Take them out and put them in smaller bags. And put them in the freezer. Clinton said, his wife, right? Listen to this, though. Within about 24 hours, Eddie, 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 Eddie Clinton, look, we got to say his name. Look, don't, look, the God of the Bible said, mark him. Mark them, which caused division, right? Eddie Clinton became, Eddie, Eddie Clinton began experiencing soreness. So the only thing he did is touch the shrimp, man. In 24 hours, he began to um, experience soreness, man. Look, 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 shaking. So look, I'm, I'm going to go right back to this too, to that Hebrews. I'm going to go right back to that Hebrews right quick. He started experiencing soreness and then shaking. Let's get this. One more time. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So now, I'm saying he didn't fell into the hands of the living power. Now, you have by Shemiah was shot. So the first thing the Lord had him go through was soreness. He started getting sore. This is what his wife is telling the news and observer. Then he started shaking after that. First he started experiencing soreness. Then he started shaking, man. Okay? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Right? It says, uh, then that's saying, you know, right after that, look, loss of appetite. He lost his appetite after that. This, this is a different calamities the guy of the Bible was taking him through, right? The guy of the Bible said, I'm going to mock when your fear come. You know? Look, and slurred speech. Look at all those things that the God of the Bible was taking this Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian through. But this was the so-called Negro, right? Took him through soreness. He started shaking, going into convulsions and all that. Look, he lost his appetite. And you know that was, you know that was all scary events when you're going through something like that and you don't know what's going on. That's a scary event right there, man. It says, um, what else? And, and slurred speech. He couldn't even talk, man. He probably was trying to say ambulance, but it sounded like this. And his wife was like, um, what you mean? You want, you want me to cook the shrimp for you? He couldn't even speak, man. He couldn't even tell his wife to call the ambulance, man. You know? Look, look, doctors determined Eddie had vibroro vonai ficus bacteria in his bloodstream people um most commonly become infected with vibrosis by eating raw or un undercooked shellfish which the scriptures tell us not even eat this food anyway look particularly oysters according to the center for disease control and prevention but the cdc says skin infection infections are possibly are possible when breakage or salt water gets in an open wound. While some say versions of Vibro can last a few days and have no permanent effects, the CDC says about one out of every four Vibro Vornai Ficus infections is deadly. It's deadly, man. And that it can kill a person within a day or two. So look, it's two days later. This man been in the hospital for like two days. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. 
Look, look, doc, look. Doctors suspect that Eddie may have wiped his mouth with his hand or that he had a small cut on his hand when handling the shrimp. But they never found an open wound. His wife said, because it was the God of the Bible. Let me read this again. Hebrews chapter 11, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So it was the God of the Bible that's taking Eddie through this right about now, man. The doctors didn't find no open wound, no cut, nothing like that, man. That look, it's all ordained by the God of the Bible. Y'all can't seem to come to that conclusion, man. It's the Lord marking this man. It's, a, it's your how about Shemel Shai judging this man. That's what it is, man. Let's get this right here, man. It's the God of the Bible judging that Negro, Latino, and Native American in it, man. For all that wickedness he was doing, man. Bagging up shrimp, bag, bagging and tagging. He wasn't trying to take heed to the words of your how about Shemel Shai. He was trying to do his own thing. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he and there is no power with me i kill and it's the most high speaking right who the england called jesus christ look at this nigga man look at look at eddie man look at eddie get well soon balloons and all that in the back right it says and there is no power with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And, and we're going to read up. What did what the um, article say again? It says, um, Vibro vulnificus infections is deadly. And that, it, and that it can kill a person within a day or two. So that's what that dude got in there, man. Looking all stupid laying up in the bed, right? So they ain't find no cuts, no wounds, or nothing. That's how you know it's all, or, all ordained by the God of the Bible, right? It says, um, I'm going to read that scripture one more time. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Look, the God of the Bible wounded this man. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to the God of the Bible, Yahweh, Bashim uh, whether he gonna heal this man or not, man. And then Jake's come out of situations like this. He's in a coma right about now. Jake comes out of situations like this, and they still don't repent, man. Okay? They still don't repent, man. Look, and this is the food that they get. If he, if he even wake up, look what they got in the background right there. Some soda. And that's killing them. You know, some soda and some ice cream. It says, um, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So he thought calling the ambulance, going to the hospital, they was going to bring him back to life. They was going to help him out. No. No. Can't no one deliver you out of the clutches of your how about Shemia or Shai, man. That's why we always tell you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's through the Spirit, repent, man. Turn back to the God of the Bible while you still have time. It says, every doctor that saw Eddie said they had never seen anything like this. Did you hear that? Did you did you hear that man? Did you hear what the doctor said? Every doctor that saw and look, every doctor that saw Eddie, not one, not two, not three, but every every doctor, man, that saw Eddie said they had never seen anything like this, man. She said, it's when the news reporter, right? Look, they said they studied about it in medical school, but had never seen it. Look, man, the God of the Bible is going to start plaguing our people with, with viruses and infections no one has ever seen, man. Okay? And this is one of them right here, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you will learn. You will learn a valuable lesson, man. The same thing Eddie Clinton going through right about now. A local Raleigh native. He's learning right about now. He's learning right about now. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. I got to read what the doctor said again. Every doctor that saw Eddie said they had never seen anything like this. Mm -mm -mm. That's how you know it's the, it's the Lord, man. That's how you know it's your how about Shemiah was shot. The doctor said they had never seen nothing like it. What's going on, man? The Lord's sick and tired of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians too, man. You're selling drugs. You're game banging. You're committing adultery. You're doing all kind of wickedness. You're eating shrimp, crab, lobsters. All kind of different abominable seafoods. Now the scriptures told us to eat anything with scales and fins, man. 
You got all kind of fish with scales and fins, but Jake's little Jake like, nah, yo. I don't want scales and fins, man. I want abominable. I want abominable foods. That's what Jake wants, and that's what you're gonna. That's what's gonna get you end up in the hospital, just like this knucklehead, man. You know? How long will you simple ones love simplicity, man? Twenty pounds of shrimp. Give me a break, man. Second Corinthians chapter five verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. See, we persuade Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians with this word. We threaten them. If you don't do this, that, and the third, the God of the Bible is going to kill you. If you don't stop your wickedness, the God of the Bible is going to kill you, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, right? We persuade men. We threaten you with the words, man. But we are made manifest unto you. Suck you. But we are made manifest unto the Most High. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience, man. This guy, no saying, heard the warning, man. We've been out on the highway and byways for years, man. Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans then heard this word already, man. But they would not take heed to it. And this is the result of it, man. This is the result. Let's get this. This is um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Coming from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. And lean not unto thine own understanding, man. And don't lean on to what you think is right, man. That's what this dude Eddie did. He thought he knew what was right, man. He thought he knew what was good for him. When the men of the Lord out there telling you, according to the Bible, what's good for you. I got to read that one more time, though, man. Every doctor that saw Eddie said they had never seen anything like this. Because the God of the Bible said that one of our people that don't turn back... He's going to put all the curses that's written of in the Bible on them and different things that ain't even written of in the Bible, man. And I'm just roughly paraphrasing, right? Look, um, look, they said they studied about it in medical school, but they had never seen it before. And look at Eddie, looking all stupid. Now look at him. Now you Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American that don't take heed, you're going to end up just like him, man. You're going to end up just like him, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Look at him. Looking all stupid. Infected with a deadly bacteria from exposure to shrimp harvest in North Carolina waters after Hurricane Florence. You stupid. Look, it says North Carolina closed all waters to shellfish harvesting after a hurricane, after ahead of Hurricane Florence. The state warned that the bottom feeders. Because, yeah, the shrimp, crab, lobsters, they bottom feeders, man. They eat all this shit, you know what I'm saying, from these other animals. And they they, they meant to be, they, they're supposed to stay in the water just to sum it up and keep the water clean. But the so-called white man has made shrimp, crabs, lobsters, oysters a delicacy here in his kingdom, man. And they go, Jay, Jay just got to have some shrimp, right? Just got to have some uh, popcorn shrimp. You might end up just like Eddie. The state warned that the bottom feeders were, were most susceptible to contamination spread by floodwaters after the storm. But Jake didn't give a damn. Jake didn't give a damn. Mm, 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 mm. It says, Patty Clinton's son and his family cooked and ate shrimp from the same harvest without incident. She wrote in a post on Facebook where she has documented the ordeal in detail. So the God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying, wanted to get him. The God of the Bible wanted to make this dude, you know what I'm saying, um, the, the newspaper. You know, he wanted, the God of the Bible really wanted to make this dude an example of, of what not to do. He made Eddie Clinton an example of what not to do. Because the article said what? Patty Clinton's son and his family cooked and ate shrimp from the same harvest without incident. She wrote in a post on Facebook. Where she has documented the ordeal in detail. It don't, even, it don't matter if you use gloves or not, man. You know? The guy in the Bible wanted to get this Negro, man. You know? Look at him. Look at how stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. What does it say? The right foot and left leg would be um, examined, she said. We pretty much think they won't be able to do anything with the left leg. 
it's somewhere it's somewhere between both legs need to come off there's nothing else to do or both legs are sizable did you hear that man damn man mm 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 Look, this man might this man might lose his look. This this guy right here, look, just touching some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? This dude about to lose both his legs, just touching the shrimp. Eddie Clinton's about to lose both his legs, man. And he just touched the shrimp, man. Are you Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American? Are you hearing this, man? Mm, 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 mm. Stupid, right? Look, the right foot and left leg will be examined. She said. We pretty much think they won't be able to do anything with the left leg it's somewhere between both legs needs to cut off damn and there's nothing else to do or both legs are sizable he might keep his legs he might not man look the clintons work more than 65 combined 65 years in teaching and administration in raleigh schools but they still didn't teach our people a damn, a damn thing this dude and his wife combined, work, they worked like 30, 32 years of peace, man, in the schools. In Esau's schools. And they ain't teach our people nothing, man. But the men, of, the men, the God of the Bible got the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways teaching our people, right? Let me read this right here, man. This is Ezekiel. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. Ezekiel chapter 3. Let's see. Um, let's see, 3 and 17, and then I'm going to jump back to the, to the other chapter, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore hear the word of my mouth, and give them warning from me, and we're giving our people warning, man, telling them to take heed, telling them to repent. Telling them to turn from their wickedness. But is, is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, is they going to take heed? Hell no, man. They ain't going to take heed, and then they're going to end up just like Eddie. Look at Eddie looking all stupid. You know what I'm saying? They ain't looking all stupid. This man about to lose both his legs. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you going to learn. You going to learn. When the words of the Bible come out, you either take heed to it, or look, man, or die, man. Or die. Matter of fact, let's get this right quick. This Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, chapter 5, bear with me, chapter 5, verse 7, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and put not off from day it's like and put not off from day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth the wrath now not love but wrath for suddenly shall the wrath for suddenly shall the wrath of the lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance so now this guy is in a coma right about now and the doctor's already said he about to lose both of his legs, man, and his foot, you know? And the thing that he got, the disease that he got, they said they ain't never seen nothing like it ever, man, ever, man, you know? Ever. They said they ain't seen nothing like it ever, man. The God of the Bible plagued this nigga, man. He ain't want to take heed to the words of the Lord. Look, man, and we ain't going to share no tip for this nigga, man. We ain't going to share no tear for this nigga, man. That's what the scriptures tell us. We, we won't, won't share a tear for this dude. Let his family cry for him, man. Let his family cry for him. Let's get this. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you end up in the hospital, we ain't going to give a damn about you, man. The God of the Bible don't care about you, right? You ain't trying to take heed to the words of the Lord to hell with you. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Talking about two-thirds of the Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native American Indians. The guy of the Bible told us don't pray for him, man. Don't pray for Eddie. You know? Let me get it, let me get it, get it closer right quick so y'all can really see this dude. Look at Eddie. Look at Eddie. He's in the hospital now. Look at him. On the whole world. No, he got a Pepsi in the background. Drink, drinking shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't coming out that coma, man. Lord's willing, man. 
Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. But I thought we were supposed to pray for everybody. Nah, man. You ain't taking heed to the words of the Bible. We ain't praying for you, right? Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So now his wife, his children, and the rest of his family member crying like hell to the Lord. Help Eddie out. Help Eddie out. Bring him back, Lord. Bring him back. But the God of the Bible like, yo, I ain't trying to hear you, yo. I ain't going to hear you any time that you cry for me. You know? Now you, look, now you need my help. When I, had, when I had my servants out there teaching you the words of the Bible, you walked past them. You took light of my word, man. Now I'm mocking at you. Now, now the fear is upon you and your whole family. Now I'm mocking at you, man. All right? The God of the Bible said, I ain't going to hear you when you cry to me for your trouble now. Now all of a sudden, you want to take heed to the words of the... Now you all of a sudden, you want to cry to me, right? Nah. Too late now, man. Don't cry to me now. You, you ain't been wanting to cry to me. So this is a, a quick little lesson through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shah, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American You better seek the God of this Bible, man. You better seek the Lord, man. You ain't got, you ain't got that long, man. Playing around, eating shrimp, crab, lobster, when the God of the Bible told us not to eat the bottom feeders, man. You got all kind of fish out there with scales and fins, but the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they refuse to eat that. And it's going to be many more articles about Jake going through hell, catching hell. And uh, just like Eddie, man, Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel, seek ye me, and ye shall live. The ones of our people that ain't seeking the God of the Bible, just get ready to be hit with plagues, man. Just get ready to be hit with plagues, man. Just like this dude, Eddie. You know? It's a God, and the, the, the um, doctor said they ain't see no cuts, no wounds, no nothing. They don't know how this man got infected. But we do, though. It's the God of the Bible, man, that kills, that heals, that wounds, that keeps you alive. And, and can't nobody escape the judgment of your how about Shem Shai. This is Eddie's judgment, man, okay? And he deserves everything that he's getting, man. Everything that he's getting, man. He deserves it, man. Okay? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, repent, man. Turn from your wickedness, man. Stop celebrating the customs of the heathens, man. Repent. Turn back. And with that, Lord willing, brothers, will edify these videos that we do only for the elect, man. They, they continue to warn them, man. You know? Do what is right, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. Doing what is right in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Turn back, Israel. Repent. Shalom.